How's it going? My name is Dom and today I'll be showing you how to use and write your own functions in Rust. So for example, if I write out uh, print numbers to 10, I want to actually write a function that will print out numbers from 1 all the way to a number that we specify inside here, in this case 10. So to declare this function, we can come down here and start with the fn keyword. This is followed by the name of your function. So for us, it will be uh, print numbers 2. Now we need to specify the function arguments. So as we can see, we have 10. So we can see that this function basically accepts a single number as an argument. So an argument is an extra bit of information that your function will then use inside its logic or doing whatever it's doing. So to declare this in the function, we can use parentheses and then write down something like num unsigned 32-bit integer. This is saying this function accepts a single unsigned 32-bit integer and it's going to be called num. So now we can use num in our code to basically reference the number that was passed in. Next we can use uh, curly braces to signify the function body. Inside here we can just write out uh, for n in 1 to num and then print out uh, n. This will obviously print out numbers from 1 all the way to the number that we pass in. So now we can run this and see how we go. We see 1 to 9. Beautiful. All right. Now functions can also return a value. So what I'm saying is you can uh, you can run a function and expect it to return a bit of information or like like a result, for example. So uh, I'll just show you uh, what you can do is actually uh, declare a new function called is even, and this will return true or false whether or not the number we pass in is even. So similar to the previous one, we can type in num unsigned 32-bit integer. Now for this part right here, we need to use an arrow followed by the data type that we're going to be returning. So for us, it will be boolean. This is saying this function right here is called isEven. It accepts a single number and it returns type boolean. So inside here, we can simply then return. So return means what value to, uh, you know, be the result of the function. And we can return num mode 2 equals 0. This is saying return the, um, the result of this expression right here. So if the number mod 2 is 0, then it's true. If it's not 0, it's false. So with this, this is now done. We can then use it up here. For example, you can say if is even 30. So if 30 is even, then simply print out it is even. We can now run this, see how we go. And we see it is even. So now with these two functions, we can use them in combination. So I'm just going to get rid of this right here and maybe change this to 20 to make it interesting. Now for the for loop inside this function right here, I'm going to get rid of this. Instead, put an if statement. So if is even n, then print out is even. So n is even. Otherwise, I'm just going to print out is odd. So n is obviously the number that we're currently at in the for loop and we're saying if it's even print out it is even otherwise print out it is odd. So now we can run this one and we see 1 is odd, 2 is even and then so on. That's pretty cool. And that's basically all I wanted to cover when it comes to functions in Rust. Thank you for watching. See you later.